Friends, friends, friends. Today, we're working with a different kind of water heater. I'm not a plumber. I'm not an electrician. So as always, this is for informational purposes only. What you see me do in the video, perform at your own risk. With that being said, let's get into it. I'll start out by saying, listen, I'm learning in the process too. Do not take my advice for draining. Don't take my advice for anything, okay? This is just me showing what I did. I think, and of course we like to blame it on everything else, I think these drain plugs are shot. So it wasn't draining properly, so I lost my patience and just took the hit with the water drain, okay? So we're kind of mid-project here towards the end, hopefully. So what I ended up doing was obviously turn the electricity off at your breaker panel. I'm at my rental property today, which is a two family. And I found that out the hard way. I thought that was the first floor, which is what I'm repairing. Okay, and I thought this was the second floor. The problem is on the first floor. So what do I do? I shut the breaker off at the panel box, come over here. So trying to loosen the element and I'd take the wires off and I touched one of the wires and I felt a nice little shock. So my opinion, I should have used the voltage meter and verified that I'm turning off the right stuff. So with that being said, the first thing you need to do is drain this water heater. Um, just my experience working with this so far and working with my tankless Navian that I post a lot of videos about. If you have one of those, check that out. I have a lot of good stuff. This is easier in some ways. This one, I think it's easier in this regard, assuming you have a good drain plug here. So with mine, I don't have the little, you know, screw that you just loosen up with a screwdriver and the water comes flowing out nicey nice. I'm sure there's a lot of sediment build up in here. These are from, I think, 2015. I never did a drain on them. Um, so with this, all you do is you just kind of like turn this and the, and the water spout opens. Um, but mine was at a drip at best. So I just got tired of waiting and just took out the elements and let the water pour out. Um, again, don't recommend it. Don't take my advice or anything in here. So for those that care, half of my problem was I needed to get these elements off and I tried to do the right thing. I tried to say, you know what? I'll buy the tool. I'll buy the tool. I buy the tool from Home Depot. It's supposed to be great. I put it on. It's doing nothing but stripping the fucking element. And it's just, it's garbage. So if you go to Home Depot and you go in the section where you can find the water heater elements, do yourself a favor. Do not buy the little aluminum uh, piece of garbage that they say fits right over it. Just get yourself a half inch socket. Okay with, or I'm sorry, a drive, half inch drive for those that are going to correct me. And then I use a one and a half inch socket and it fits over those elements perfectly. Um, this is a nice one. I actually had to go to an auto parts store because nobody had it. Uh, it's like, I think a nine point, something like that. It gripped it really well, came off no problem. So do yourself a favor and pick up one of those. So as you can see, these are the elements that came out. Um, I think this was the bad one based on what I am hearing from my tenants and how the water is going. And this was apparently the good one. Okay, no good. So I already put the other elements in. Probably should have showed you guys that. I'm now at the point where I'm rewiring it. So I, re I already rewired the bottom one. Um... So now I'll show you guys how to do it on this top one, since I'm in the middle of it. There we go. Let there be light, huh? So as you can see, I had quite a bit of sediment buildup. Um, and I already flushed this once. Thought that was a problem. Uh, they said that it worked pretty good. And then all of a sudden, after a couple minutes of showering, you know, it's just, it's no good. So I'm replacing these elements. Um, but this is the brand new element, this entire piece. You can see the hex here. The silver okay so now we grab our fancy dancy see that fits beautifully beautifully okay do yourself a favor and just pick one of those up um 
So now I'm at the point where, from what I read and what I did on the bottom, I even looked at the markings on the uh, elements here. There are no real markings as far as like positive and negative. I guess it doesn't matter with these. So you can just plug, or I'm going to plug, do your own research. I'm going to plug, you know, one of these on one of the terminals here and, and have a go at it. Um, another quick note is when you pull these out, make sure you check the, there it is, 240. Where is it? 240 volt, 4,500 watt. Uh, make sure you replace it with the same one. Um, obviously, for obvious reasons. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and wire this up and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we're all wired up here. I just hooked those two on the terminals. Um, let's make sure this is closed. Yep, okay. Go ahead and slowly turn on the water supply. Make sure there's no leaks. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this fill up and then I'm going to go ahead and flip the breaker on and see if these elements make the water hot. And then obviously I'll do a check, try to verify what they're saying, um, that the shower gets cold after a couple minutes, uh, and then we'll take it from there. So um, hopefully this helped. Uh, for reference, this is a Ream Performance. Um, I think this is from 2015. The elements... Uh, you could pick up at Home Depot. I went to Home Depot. Um, they're about 11, 11 bucks, 13 bucks, something like that. The half inch drive was 36, I think, for the uh, ratchet wrench itself. And then I got the actual socket at um, O'Reilly's for 11 bucks. Please do yourself a favor, just pick that up, spend the extra 40 bucks. You get that other tool from Home Depot. I'm sure it's anywhere you go, not just Home Depot, but that tool is garbage. So please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, let me know if this worked. And again, this is for informational purposes only. I am no professional at all. Um, it's just sharing what I did to fix the problem.